Hi guys, welcome to the system. We um, are on this version, Arconix XL. So lots of software. XL contains lots of them, XS less. It's also a special kind of thing. It's an F2FS formatting system. So that's a new formatting system. You can Google it, F2FS, what it is. And the topic of the video is actually something totally different. Somebody, let's go to that somebody on the Arclix forum, asked the question. Ah, there it is. Question is, is it possible to start Calamares yeah, after OS installation uh, to install all at once apps that I wish to add? Answer is short. No, you cannot, right? So what if you want to install more stuff? Well, basically in Calamares, select whatever you want. It will be installed if you got internet or and that's what basically we all do on all linux distributions people provide a linux distro and the look is the way it looks right manjaro is green linux mint is also green and never like the green aspect but that's very very personal so i was a user of linux mint for five six years after each clean installation i changed the system completely and everybody said it's unrecognizable, it's not Linux Mint anymore. And I said, yeah, it is. Themes, icons, wallpapers, okay. So what you do after an installation, you make scripts, and that's what I want to show you. It's super simple. So create a folder, create a document, empty file. Let's first also pay some attention to the key bindings. Super, shift, enter is our Thunar. Super, shift, enter. Why am I saying that? Because people are missing out. If you don't know your keyboard shortcuts, it's so easy to launch things. Super F4, GIMP, if it's installed. This is the Excel version, so it's gonna be installed. I suppose it's graphics, yeah. Inkscape, GIMP, so it will launch. If you're on Arclix B, the Bs are intended to be minimal. So no Inkscape, no GIMP, no Melt, you just sudo pacman minus s gimp boom it's installed so keyboard bindings and our two 22 desktops they all come back you're always you can rely on your fingers on your finger memory it will open a terminal that's for example in the forum it says open up a terminal yeah make a file call it packages sh so okay that's that's what I've done. I can do two things now. I can say make executable. Then I don't need to tell the terminal to make it executable. So shmod change modus plus x and then say install. Don't type everything. Use the tab. Enter. So ll. The thing is now green. Green means there's an x. X from executable, executable, executable. Okay, what shall we execute? Nothing, <laughs> nothing in there, right? Not gonna work. But what do we say here? Here we say, put this code into it. Okay, put this code into it. Control C, Control V. Save. Now, for instance, I'm not gonna use GIMP. I am not gonna use Inkscape ever. Not ready for that. So sudo pacman minus r GIMP and sudo pacman. Let's make this bigger so you can read minus r Inkscape. Voila. And if you want to have some comments, you put in a hashtag things to install. And Pacman will not execute this. Or it will not, it's just a comment. Just for you. Things to remove. S. Remember the tip, maybe I can include it here as well. People were very uh, thankful for sharing this pseudo Pacman minus RDD. So this tells Pacman. To not look at dependencies it can be dangerous don't get me wrong but if you're stuck in updating this is probably the only thing you can do okay let's do that 
and then um, that's saved Control S if there's a little button up there this button then it's not saved this is a mistake I often make and I say why is it not working because I didn't do Control S save the thing all right launching it it says run it with dot install packages okay so dot slash install enter he wants to know the password he's going to install spotify and he's going to remove installing spotify here he's going to remove gimp and maybe you don't want this yes no no thing because hey you want to go to eat uh, for example and uh, it, it just needs to be ready when you come back so go back in here and tell him no confirm just go ahead it's i don't need any interaction for the user no interaction interaction needed just remove it already that's the message you give to pacman let's go for it uh yep yeah, okay removing yes no haven't touched anything he's just removing everything and as you can see they're quite big right quite big in size so there you go this is a short video it, shouldn't, it, it is not more complex than that put this after every um, installation after every clean installation if you think i'm being weird <laughs> i suppose everybody has this kind of script somewhere to run um, do have a look at Arco Linux Nemesis. This is what I run every single time after any Arco Linux installation. I will run 100, 200, 300. It depends, of course, not always. Uh, some personal stuff because I want to, I don't know, personal settings folders, for example. Uh, I want to have the folders already there. I want to have all kinds of things right choices and you can automate these things you can reuse our github here for my github here and then um, rewrite code because basically it says pseudo pacman minus s no confirm i want flameshot i want discord i want nomax and because it's dxl it will skip it this yard is already there, Nomax is already there, so we'll just go through the list and not install it basically because it's there. And that's the needed. So that's also interesting. So if you rerun scripts and try to uh, figure it out, try to create a script, it will not waste your time with installing it again because it's already there. Okay? Have a look. It's the way to go. Cheers.